Hello investors, Justin Conoco from Prime Real Estate in London, Ontario. Gonna give you guys a couple properties and an update as to some things that are happening in this market. So in general, it's been pretty crazy, right? I mentioned in the last video, we took about a 30 to 60 day moratorium. Wasn't a lot of good inventory, it was too competitive. We pushed back for a second. Well, the market kind of tanked a little bit and then came back up like crazy and then it went down a bit. And it's really these big waves depending on what listings and areas you're looking at. What we are seeing is a lot of overpriced inventory, which is great. I like seeing listings that are sitting on the market because we can get them under contract, we can get them with conditions and under asking price. Really, asking price is just a suggestion, right? When we come to them and show them what the property is actually worth and then do our due diligence, that's where we find the best deals. If it was absolutely turnkey cash flowing, it would be gone and you'd be overpaying, especially because London is one of the top markets in Canada to invest in. Um, I gotta get to you a property showing with some investors, so I'm gonna rip through some properties. If you guys are interested, these are high level overviews of the properties, message us. You'll notice that there's been a big uptick in how hands-on we are on the system. So we have our entire team, we have now have 10 people that are going through and managing different members and making sure that we are communicating with you guys in every facet possible. So we're gonna operate this quite a bit. Um, we're building up some new systems for the members. Obviously, we're always working on providing value. So let us know if there's anything on your end that we need to be doing differently and we'll make the adjustments. Let's dig into it. First property, 691 Colburn. It is a new-ish listing. They actually just did a price reduction to 445. It's in Woodfield, great area, actually just down the street from my office, being advertised essentially as a duplex with a basement suite. The basement suite, no way legal. Costs you way too much money to make that thing legal, but the upper units are great. Overpriced, I think there's something there, so we could look closer at it. Next property is 4 Perry Street. I actually mentioned it in the last update, and 4 Perry Street, we were negotiating actually with an investor and it's priced I think in the 360s right now and value wise probably closer to 340. We were hovering lower than that, but got tied up in multiple offers as happens and they couldn't pull the trigger. Found out why, knob and tube wiring. They had an electrician that went in um, from the seller side and they said it was okay, they could GFI and they could make it legal and then the buyer's electrician disagreed. That happens all the time. Obviously the seller's lawyer is gonna be biased, or the seller's electrician's biased and the buyer's electrician's biased. The truth is somewhere in the middle. Honestly, my opinion, I pretend they don't even exist. I bring our guys in. What's the worst case scenario? What's the price? Knock it off the price. Do the deal, upgrade the wiring, add value to the property. I look at things like that as an opportunity, not a negative. People here to knob and tube and they get really scared and they run. We've dealt with this with many, many investors and many properties. So if you know what you're doing, not scary at all. Maybe you shouldn't be investing if you're terrified of a little bit of knob and tube, but that's separate anyways. So next one is gonna be 582 Ontario Street. It's a duplex being advertised with a teenage suite in the basement, nowhere near legal, but this one actually has the R3-2 zoning. So possible triplex, maybe even a fourplex conversion. Um, Oldies Village, good area, good price point as well too. Um, two properties I wanna point out if you are looking at the system, they are trash. 1052 Dundas Street, it looks great. The advertised numbers that they're showing are amazing. There's a reason it's not selling. Um, one of our members got it under contract. We went through it and ran out the door pretty much as fast as we ran in. We brought our property manager and contractor to the property. No bueno, we will move on from that one. Um, 75 Holman Street, great house, great street. Very unique property. Um, I know one of our members is actually looking at it right now and I think that if they get it for the right price, there could be a good conversion on that property, but we've had a lot of people asking us about it. Um, the main front unit is great, but the back unit is only a bachelor technically. They've allowed access for the basement from both units, but it looks like the back tent is using it, unfinished illegal basement as a bedroom. Since the back has a kitchen, the bathroom, decent sized living room, you could legally run this property as a duplex, but you need to eliminate the basement. I was reading that because one of the things and systems we run with their team is, we run a spreadsheet with all the properties in London, they fill out the notes. So that's one of our property experts that saw that. What that means is the height restriction in the basement's not legal. They're giving access to the tenant, but if the city came in and saw it, they would make you shut that door. So you could run it as a bachelor technically. Um, and if he gets it for the right price, they'll make it work. But wanted to point that out. I thought it was super important for you guys. We have a pile of off-market properties as well too. Um, one of them is currently under offer. That's 242 Piccadilly Street. I brought it to the last summit. You may have noticed on our Instagram at primebrokerage.ca. We just leased that property out. It's an escalating lease, uh, probably about a 6.2 cap rate off-market, 575. Six parking spots right downtown, two beautiful units and a great commercial main floor unit. Um, the seller's gonna do a VTB on that one, so we'll see where that one goes. We also have 244 Dundas, so the Plant Matters kitchen building is gonna be coming up for eight. 50. 
um, completely renovated by a Keyspire member. She probably dumped about 300 grand into the building. She got it um, early, early on when the Dundas Improvement Plan was just starting and has turned the units into absolutely turnkey. Great property, there's good op opportunity there too. Um, and we do have a few other pocket listings that we're working on right now for you guys, some fourplexes and a sixplex. So if you're interested in anything I've said, just reply to this email. We'll make sure we'll get your point man on it. We'll have more coming for you guys in the next couple weeks. And you're noticing the uptick of these videos. They're gonna be coming more frequently because we have more people doing more things for you guys in the streets. But from us to you guys, hope you guys are all doing well and we will talk very soon. Take care. So a quick little bonus for you guys. I was about to send out the Keyspire video on one of our agents locked down an off-market nine unit building at around $100,000 a unit. So you're looking at around the $900,000 mark in one of the best areas in London, Old South. If you're interested in that, let us know. We also found out 250 Cheapside was conditionally sold actually right when it hit the market and is now available again. So if you want the lowdown on that property, you can check it out online. We did send it out previously. It's right across the street from St. Joe's Hospital, one of the best areas in London. Still room to improve those rents. You just gotta ride out the existing tenants, but a great opportunity for you guys as well. Hope you enjoyed the content and we'll talk to you guys soon.